times you come here, Wembley is the place where the adrenaline really starts. And Castleford have very fond memories of this stadium. The last times they've been here, they've always won. Castleford have a very proud record at Wembley. 1969, victory over Salford. And that game will always be remembered for Malcolm Reilly's role in making the try at poor number seven. In 1970, Castleford were back again and victory over, wait for it, Wigan. Nineteen eighty-six, their last appearance. Hulke are the victims. And it's a try. Yes, a little chip. The class of ninety-two are not just going for the ride. This is one of the most professional clubs in any sport. They've worked desperately hard over the past month, from training to diet. Lunch every day at Hickson's, the club's sponsors. The food is good, but if the cooks will forgive me, not exactly appetising, but the calories are exactly right. 1,500 calories a day. No chips. No chips at all. And there's an even bigger sacrifice. We wanted to be as, as best prepared as we could possibly be for the for the game and obviously the lads sat down and said, you know, the, the club's spending a lot of money making sure that we you know we get the right training facilities, we get the right things to eat. Okay. Um, surely, you know, we sit down and said, well, you know, if we put some in where there's, you know, we stop drinking for a month so that, um, you know, when we go out on the day, we're going to be as best prepared as we possibly can be and, and if, we, if we do that with the, the combination of the training we've been doing, uh, and the way we play, and that's you know, I think that's going to give us a very big edge. The club certainly has an edge in smartness as well, whether in shirt sleeve order or their Wembley blazers. The visit to Wembley Stadium on the day before the game is a traditional one. So, what is the mood in the Castleford camp at the moment? Obviously, it's going to be totally different tomorrow, and there's 80,000 plus people in here, and the atmosphere is really buzzing and electric. But uh, to just be out in the paddock. Just to get a feeling of the place, uh, it's something I've dreamt about and uh, it's really not sunk in. I, th I think it'll sink in tomorrow when we walk out for the uh, big kick-off, but uh, I'm certainly looking forward to it. I'm just going to go out for the 80 minutes and enjoy it. All the preparation's been done, except for the next door, work 24 hours, so uh, you know, all the hard work's been done now, since it's up to us to uh, just to hold, hold it all together and uh, finalise it tomorrow morning. I intended to enjoy this one and, and you know, I'm probably the best prepared I have been for a game for a long, long time. And, uh, as I said, um, you've not find a stage in there to play well at Wembley, and that's what I intend to do. So, no fears at all in the Castleford camp, and there's a growing feeling that Wigan may just have a bit more on their plate than they're going to anticipate. Well, what's the town of Castleford going to be like tomorrow afternoon? Most people seem to think it's going to be rather deserted. <laughs> if we don't win, I'll be very, very disappointed. I know the lads think it's going, but they're going to win, definitely. And it's very, very good for the town. It's time it came back to Yorkshire, the uh, Challenge Cup. I think it'll do the town, you know, a hell of a lot of good. And uh, I just hope the lads do it for us on Saturday. It's absolutely vital to the town and, and to Yorkshire as a whole, I think. And in times of recession, I think something like this is a, a big boost. Just hope they can win. <laughs> I doubt it, like, but you've got to cheer them on, haven't you? Generally, I think we're all going down for a good day out to see a good game of rugby. If we win, we win. If we don't, we'll still come back and go to pub at night time. We're going to win. No, we're going down to see him win. I am. <laughs> Huge roar from the Castleford contingent. 20,000 have travelled down from the town. Two out of every three. And I'm sure those people left back in Castleford, they'll be dancing in the streets.